All right, Smith County leaders are calling it our biggest health crisis, and it's not COVID-19. Mental illness, two words which impact friends, families, and our community all together. KDK's Frank Jefferson right now joins us live in studio to tell us how law enforcement agencies and health leaders came today to mm -hmm. tackle this issue head on. Frank. Sarah Neal, one in five Americans, they suffer from mental health issues. Now, many of these people, they find themselves in our jails. And today, Smith County leaders, they met to get those inmates the help that they need. We're down to a situation. If we don't do something, we're going to have more than we can handle in a few years. After receiving a grant to help those behind bars receive treatment and keep them from committing future crimes, Smith County leaders are ready to get to work. We have the highest rate of suicide right here in East Texas, in Smith County, than any other county in the state of Texas. Now, that's not good. The grant money from the Texas Judicial Commission was given to only five counties in the state. Smith County leaders like Judge Austin Reeves, Tyler Police Chief Jimmy Toller, and Tyler Mayor Don Warren are a part of the group that along with other agencies have been tasked to come up with a solution. This has always been an issue about one in 10 inmates in the Smith County Jail have some form of mental illness, and, and that's probably a, a higher number than that. That's the ones we know about. Experts say the first thing we could do to help those with mental health issues in East Texas is to shatter the stigma behind it. We cannot continue to not provide services to this population. They are a part of our community, and if we elevate them, then we elevate the entire community. Smith County Health Organizations plan to unite so their patients can receive the best care possible. Because there's an awful lot of good people in this room. There's a lot of good people in this community that really truly care. But the, the days of all of us trying to do it on our own need to be over. We need to join together and work together to make this happen. And Smith County leaders, they're hoping that today was a step toward a brighter future and the start of ending this cycle of sending people with mental health issues behind bars, releasing them, and then sending them right back. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News. All right, Frank, thank you very much.